Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now. The button below. On Abdul Kalaji Sadai Ifo, Miskeen, Azalim, Jahat. And but for the grace of Allah that He keeps us alive and functioning. That in this 11th month, the power of Surat al Zalzala and then all those earthquakes that were occurring was not a, a sign to show that the shaykhs know what's happening, but a sharat that. Qur'an is in charge of this creation, that Allah's Divinely speech that not, a, not created holy speech of holy Qur'an rules this creation. Not it's just coming something by coincidence but holy Qur'an is ruling everything. Every healing within holy Qur'an, every power within holy Qur'an and this way of marifa and the way of awliyaullah in which to take us to a higher level of reality. That when you follow their guidance and don't use your head, that what calamities and what difficulties are coming onto earth, then they begin to teach that we're promoting now the Mawlid and Nabi Don't use your head thinking, oh maybe it's not going to be, maybe there's going to be pandemic, maybe… That's not your concern. Your concern was to support the Mawlid and die supporting it. If you should die from this time to the time of the Mawlid and Nabi you'll be granted that intention and that niyyah that you were supporting Mawlid and Nabi One, that's a very sad look at it. Sorry, you had to go. Two, maybe by means of that support, Allah keep you around. If there are two or three that are going to go, this one not believing in Mawlid, this one not doing anything for Mawlid, and this one, a shaqeen and lover of Sayyidina Muhammad what do you think Allah is going to choose? I choose behind door number three. That means their hikmah and their wisdom, their sharat that coming to them is not for the mind of people trying to balance and judge. These days of difficulty require us to be very charitable, very giving, very pious, increase the actions of zikr, increase the actions of tafakkur and meditation, attend the zikrs and the majlis of zikrs and give and give and give to reach towards Allah's satisfaction and Allah's dress the servant. When they teach and they teach and they keep reminding to us that if Allah love you, He put you through an ocean of difficulties, of difficulties and shakings and shakings and shaking until every year beginning of Muharram you step with your right foot on a path towards reality. And that whole year of testing and crushing and everyone has a different example, oh, this year my parents really crushed me, this year my work crushed me, this year everyone crushed me, this year something. Because Allah is taking each of His servants which is so magnificent and munificent that even Allah knows who we are. In this epsilon of an earth, in this vastness of these universes, how Allah knows where we are? I'm astonished. That's when you say, Allahu Akbar, the Ya Rabbi, how you, you really hear me? You really understood me? He said, not only I hear you, I love you but everything is planned perfectly for you. And that's Allah showing His Divinely love. Everything has been planned for you. There's not a breath that you take that I'm not in it. There's not a rizq and a dollar that comes to you and goes from you, not a sickness that can come to you that Allah is the writer of it. So in days of testing and days of faith, this continuous reminder that who's going to make you to be sick and who are you going to run from that sickness away from? If Allah write for me in my death, there's not a thing on this earth can stop it. And if I think I'm going to hide and I'm going to shelter myself from this sickness, then you walk out and boom, a car hit you. When Allah wants the servant to go, 
there's no hiding from the going. And when Allah wants that servant to stay, there's no fear and grief for that servant. Means these are the days in which Allah is making iman to be real. When people didn't have iman before or thought they had iman and say, oh YouTube video iman is just well, we make salah and we all go for jummah, of course we have iman. Uh, no, you merely accepted Islam. Iman is now what's coming. When every type of difficulty and calamity begins to enter towards the door, every shaking and crushing is coming, rizq falling, sicknesses and people going left and right and iman is that, no Allah with me. And I'm with Allah and I have a love for Sayyidina Muhammad and I'm going to live and die showing that love. And with all of that Allah said, then by this 11th month have you been shaken? Because Zilzala the Qur'an is dressing you, the Qur'an is, Holy Qur'an is actually bringing you on this path of marifah. By this 11th month you have been shooken. Have relatives crushed you and this life banged you all up? Then we understand in this testing of the eleventh month, why Sifat al-Sabr? Because he says, if you learn from these shaykhs that every time I crush you, every time a difficulty comes and you stay consistent in your practices because the 40 rules of love from Sayyidina Jalaluddin al-Rumi describes that some tests can be so strong in people's lives that they lose faith. It comes and hits them so hard that they lose faith and walk away from everything. And those are the tests that are so strong and so powerful that if they did their practices and they kept praying that Allah keep them on iman, keep them on iman they should have a very big opening within their hearts because that is a zilzala in someone's life. That if you've been on this path and you're taking it through difficulty, you learn through them patience, tolerance, keep being consistent, keep doing your zikr, don't look for immediate satisfaction, don't go to these jinn hunter people that everyone emailing, I have sir, I have black magic, I have this. Don't worry about any magic on you. I can't do business, you're not a good businessman. It's no black magic on you for everything. You blame the magic on your relationship, black magic on your business, uh, magic on, on, on your food you don't eat right. <laughs> you made magic so powerful, for what? So tariqah comes and said, don't focus on any of these. You know, become an ahbab and lover of Sayyidina Muhammad Love for Allah strength from Allah Allah will destroy anyone trying to destroy you. So they build that relationship, build all those testings. By this eleventh month why sabr? Because Allah says, if you are consistent in your practices, patient with what I've been putting you through, didn't complain too much, tried your best to keep your love didn't lose your faith, then by the eleventh month I'm going to begin to dress you with sabr. And if Allah dresses the servant with sifat as sabr, all the attributes will begin to dress that servant. Allah is infinite in names but there are secret in these 99. And in this month when Allah is, is granting sabr, this is a door and a key for us, Ya Rabbi grant me. Not the complete sabr if I'm not at that level but at least from this ocean of sabr that give me in this year more patience from your ocean of sabr. When that beatific attribute dresses the soul, it's a light, it's an angel. Allah makes an angel with sifat as sabr that comes and flies into your soul. And as soon as he enters into the soul, the whole soul becomes dressed from that light. As a result of sifat as sabr then you be sweetened and beautified by sifat of Sayyidina Muhammad Nabi al-Mustafa. Nabi al-Mustafa is in this month. The 99th name of Sayyidina Muhammad al-Mustafa 
the fragrant and beatific one, the one who make us to be by that reality of sabr that Allah is so happy with the servant when he wants to dress them with sabr, he grant them from the secret of Nabi Mustafa and Prophet light is now moving towards that servant. When that light begin to enter in, they be dressed by the beatific lights of Ya Mustafa, Ya Mustafa because they become fragrant and beatific in their character. That's why all these practices, all these knowledges and all these realities. When they say, give, you give, don't think through your heart, don't th think through your mind but operate from your heart. When they're teaching and saying, reach out to understand the teachings because Allah's testing and Allah's giving us a gate on this month, I'm going to dress you from sabr. If you be patient and consistent with the teaching, that sabr begins to dress the servant and Nabi Muhammad and Mustafa beautifies the servant. They become fragrant and beatific in Allah's eyes. And that's all that matters when Allah is satisfied and looks to the soul of that servant, sees these beatific lights, means now they're being dressed with salamun gawla min Rabbil Raheem. Allah's salam is continuously flowing upon their souls making them to be beatific. Why? Because in the next week Zul Hajj is opening. This is not anything random. Allah want to shake, so I don't want to dress your body with these realities. These 11 months I'm shaking you, I'm crushing you, Ramadan before was cleansing you. The ten was raising you, by the eleventh I'm crushed and opened you with your sadness and your testing. You were patient and consistent, Allah broke down the shell like a walnut, <coughs> crack the nut and comes the fruit. That fruit is entering into Zul Hajj, not the body. We're not the people that only want to take our body for like sightseeing and, and fancy hotels. But we're making intention Ya Rabbi that our soul be on Hajj and every year we're making a, a pilgrimage towards that reality. And the real Hajj is the one in which the souls enter. So much so that Allah made Mecca and Medina to be empty this year as a sign that all the wild haywans that were coming. They don't even want those wild people and brought all just the jinn and ants are going to be making hajj this year. The jinn mainly and only ones who are qadim and serving and, and helping there, they are allowed in. Why? Uh, one is that it empties the wallets of those people who make money on that and they're so sad and they're crying that they don't have this foreign currency coming in. It's all about bringing everything down. But the reality for us is that Ya Rabbi with all that testing and all that crushing, then this next couple of weeks when everything going to be opening for Zul Hajj, we're making intention Ya Rabbi grant the reality of pilgrimage. That let our soul to make the real tawaf, seven times making tawaf for our seven names, grant us an entry into the presence of the Kaaba which is the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and dress our arwah from Nabi'een, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin, and all those whom are with Allah and Allah said, they are the best of company to keep. We pray that Allah give us an understanding and make that understanding to be real. The more you contribute, the more you participate, the shaykh is locking your foot to him. You're less likely to keep bouncing around in the wind when you're tied to the shaykh by contributing, by emailing, by being involved in all of these activities, you're locked. You're not just drifting from channel to channel, that you're locked onto that way so that they can make the path to be real for you as it is real for them inshaAllah. We have any questions from tonight left over you finished them all? And with lots of people emailing, they're wonderful, keep emailing. We have to also teach the way if you ask and you don't get the answer you want, it's not about the answer you want, it's the answer that you're supposed to hear.
So remember the tariqah is different than trying to email the imam at the mosque. You may ask something but you're going to get something back that may be different and that's what you needed to hear not what you wanted to hear. Click the link now to subscribe.